Hello everyone, this is Neo and welcome to part 4 of our Petscop YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to be working on our first NPC. Let's get started. So first, I'm just going to do a folder for our worlds, reparent, and then change this down here to uh, our world folder. There we go. Next, we're going to add a new node. We're going to name this tiles. We'll add a mesh instance. And we'll name this to floor. Then we're going to add a navigation mesh instance. Sorry, we're going to actually go here and create navigation mesh, but first we need to actually add our mesh. There we go. Then we just click save and I did control shift save. And we can go and create a new folder called NPCs. Then we'll just save the tiles here. Then what we're gonna do is convert to mesh library We'll just save it as our tiles for navigation. And for our world, we're gonna go to grid map. Then we're gonna reparent our player into the grid map and move it up. Next, we'll make our NPC. We'll make a kinematic body, add a sprite 3D, collision mesh, mesh instance, if you don't use a sprite 3D. Then we'll add an area 2D, or an area, and then we'll add a collision. We'll re rename this to our hitbox in case we want our NPC to uh, touch the player. We will then add a very temporary sprite. And just rename to NPC. Then we're gonna add our NPC AI. Here's the code. Feel free to pause the video and copy it down. It'll be available in the GitHub down below with all the updated files. Next, we're going to make our Pathfinder script. Be sure to copy it down. You can also copy it in said um, GitHub down below. We will need this to be specified as Pathfinder or any form of uh, class name. Next, we're gonna go to our world and add a script. This one's really quick. You can just pause the video and copy it. And then we will go to our grid map and add our mesh library. And here we can just start drawing out our map. You can change the size of uh, the plane. 
And we may also want to change the color of our background so we can see the tiles. Here we will also add inside of our grid map our NPC. I should probably adjust the sprite to move up. One last thing is we will want to set the Y axis of our player up to 1.25. And I had to also delete uh, some saves inside of my user data folder in order to apply the changes. You may also want to set our collisions to be on layer three, sorry, for uh, mask three. And we can go to our layer for 3D physics and we can just set our layers here as so. This helps with organization of masking whenever NPCs or any objects touch each other and you want to be able to signal properly. So when you press, press play, go to save, you'll see that the NPC follows us. Uh, it's only a little bit choppy because the tiles are so big. So you will have to make each uh, plane smaller if you want the NPC to have more precise movement more similar to Petscop. Once again, all the code will be available in the GitHub below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell for any upcoming tutorials or videos that you're interested in. Otherwise, I am Neo and I will see you guys later.